Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Thursday's FS Daily News. Well, we are only six more days away from FarmCon. Remember, FarmCon, there's going to be a lot of news posted about Farming Simulator 22. But anyways, though, today we have a little bit of news to go over. When I mean a little bit, we have a very small amount. And then, of course, we have a testing list. And then we also did get a bunch of new mods. But before we get into that, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. Let's try for 300 likes on this video. Let's try for 300 actually before tonight's live stream. If we hit 300 likes, I'm gonna start doing this every single time. If we hit the 300 likes, I will actually be giving everybody 100,000 FSC bucks and tonight's live stream. So anyways, roll that intro, here we go. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over today, guys, is of course that testing list. So in testing on PC, we have the Agrament N237, Farmhouse Bushweiser, Fiat 70C, the i4 Williams TT 2012 and P8 4x8, Lair SP290, Laverda M3X0 MC SLC, the Lizard N237, the Metal Fact T466 with equipment. And then last but not least is Wooden Box Production. So that is on the PC side. Now on consoles, we have the Bread and Donuts Production, Buildings Pack, Chamber Valley, Cow Shed, Forge Storage, Gold Production Pack, Griffin Indiana 19, La Cronella, La Cronella 2.0, Pack of Old Medium Cow Shed with Pasture, Seasons Geo Productions, and last but not least is the Old Farm Countryside. Number of we be tested is only six, and current actually time, guys, is one workday. Can tell you right now, I really miss the days whenever that testing list used to have, say, like a hundred mods waiting to be tested. Miss those days. Hopefully, we get those days whenever FS22 is released. But anyway, some news on Farming Simulator 22. Today, Giants released a blog actually about FS22 and precision farming. I will leave a link to that in the description. But anyways, following the release of FS22, there will be a new, reworked, and expanded precision farming add-on, which will release in the spring of 2022 for all platforms. The contents are not announced. Stay tuned during FarmCon for that. But the article mentions optical sensors and a new partner to the project, the Institute of Animal Reproduction and Food Research from the Polish Academy of Sciences. Also to be included are some of the changes that everybody has been requesting and of course some suggestions that people has been also requesting too. Uh, so can't wait for the news on that one. However, what is also important to note is that the current features of precision farming will not be a base game feature of FS22. So it is not going to be included with the base game. And now on to the next piece of news. If you own the Game Pass for either PC or Xbox, well, right now, Farming Cellular 19 is available on there. So definitely check that out, guys, if you don't have, you know, say, Farming Cellular 19, which I'm pretty sure everybody on this channel probably already has it. And now on to the last piece of news for today, which is new mods. So new mods for all platforms. The first one we got is Estancio Sao Carlos map. We got the JCB 8330 pack. We got the pickup F100 1975 in fuel tank. We got the CKS 7190. We got the Lizard FH 1985 cows trailer. We got the old bale trailer. Barrel. Schutler 2500. Agrimark portable vehicle washer tool, hand tool. Old American brick wall. Sidewalks. Eight concrete slabs. Then we got updates of the John Deere 9020 and 9030 series, which actually this one adds the 9030 series, so it's pretty much a new mod. We got update to Riverside Farms, update to John Deere Wind Rower, update to the JCB 4220 pack, update to famed A plows, update to Mossy Ferguson plows, update to Coon Interactive Sprayers, update to Grimmy GL660. Update to the Mossy Ferguson 9407S. Update to the Lizard SP700 Salt Spreader. Update to Pack of Brazilian Warehouses. And that is it right there. 
Okay, so that right there was all the news, the new mods, and of course the testing list. Like I said, that news was very small, but we did get a good amount of new mods. But anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do. Like always, have a nice day, farmers. Peace. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising.